Circuit Paul Ricard played host to the Blancpain GT official test. 45 of the world's finest sports cars arrived at the new home of the French Grand Prix, ahead of the fiercely contested GT3 series, which sees amateur drivers fighting alongside some of the most famous names in racing. This year, Porsche takes on the championship for the first time. I think for Porsche it's important to be back in the series, to compete with all these uh, sports car manufacturers and show that Porsche has a good car and I'm happy to be part of it. It never gets weak, um, it gets more competitive every year and you, you've got factory Porsche, you've Audi, you've got Ferrari, Mercedes. Hopefully we'll be um, in amongst those top, top cars. The 2017 season was the best yet for Stefan Rattel's combined sprint and endurance series with Rasa Lamborghini taking overall championship and driver's title honours after a close fight with Endurance Cup team champions Bentley. Last year was very, very successful for the Grasso Racing Team, for Lamborghini, for us, for me. Um, but now clocks are set back to zero. A new season is on the way, so we have to work hard and, and push to be in front again. We had a, a really good um, championship fight until the last race. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to win the driver title, but we want to make sure we do it this year. We're coming in as a team champions and still little things you can get better at every time and on every track. So we're confident and we're looking forward to it. Bentley's fifth campaign sees Spa 24 hour race winner Jules Gounon joining a driver lineup, getting to grips with two brand new Continental GT3s. It's a little bit more futuristic with the more aero effects on it with the, the front splitter and the rear wing. And the team has really worked hard in the technical side to, to give us that extra performance. The car's working fantastic at the minute and hopefully we're going to see what it's like against our competitors this month. Now we've got a new baby to take care of and this car is going to be very competitive. We've been testing a lot so we're a bit excited and we don't really know yet how it's going to go but we're, we're very enthusiastic and we, we can't wait to get started. Porsche marked their 70th anniversary with a return to their roots and a renewed focus on GT racing. The team obviously has a long history, a great success in different series. They compete in the WEC and it's a very professional team, so uh, I think this is a good base to be competitive and successful in the Grand Pass series where, where the competition is uh, very high. A reduced 26 car pro entry for 2018 reflects the philosophy of French boss Rattel, who sees the series pro-am format as an important part of its continuing success. The amateur drivers and gentlemen drivers are extremely important towards GT racing because at the end of the day, they're the ones that supply the funding and the budgets and help drivers like myself in order to make a career out of racing. So it's very, very important that the uh, category is cared about and looked after because that's the survival of uh, motorsport. Despite the increased amateur focus, pro competition will be higher than ever. It's the world's best GT drivers do battle in a season-long knockout fight featuring 11 supercar manufacturers. There are a lot of um, strong manufacturers, strong cars, strong teams for this year. So it's going to be as tough as always. I can only say we will do our best to fight. Um, and uh, in the first race in quality, we will see where we are. Everything has been put for this year to be successful. We weren't happy with second place and we're only looking forward to go one, one higher. But a lot of people here are wanting to do the same thing. So hopefully we, we learn and we will be, we'll be there.